Hey everybody, welcome back to Tamriel Tuesdays and the second part of the Next of Kin side quest in Oblivion for the Dark Brotherhood. And uh, she has a fate that is not super right. happy. What can I do for you, citizen? Um, yeah. S sorry. So. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I, there's not a, like a really good. Unless I'm mistaken, there's probably Stop. not a really good way of doing this without, you know, getting a bounty. Yeah. Without, like, one-shot killing her. Maybe, like, a poison apple if you had him. Or... Yeah. I mean, it makes me want to, like, try to, ex like, explore some of the... Whoop, ruh, ruh. Explore some of the systems a little greater. Um, but, I mean, that might be tough to... <laughs> <laughs> Might have to watch while we spend 45 minutes. Oh my in... gosh, that was a ton of gold. Oh, how much? A thousand. Oof. How much do we have? Six thousand now. Oof. Should we try to do that different? I don't know what we'd really do. I, you probably the thing with the apple. We don't have any. Oh, well, thousand it is. <laughs> I mean, we could like follow her around and try to make it more secret but uh, but she's a guard herself we're gonna get a bounty yeah. regardless it huh. sucks Thomas filling his bodyguard how are you doing bro your business. Hey, he's dead and on my watch I failed I failed everything oh gonna pat him on the back ball always seems ready for a fight I, I do like to see the um, repercussions of our actions. Yeah. Regardless of how, how goes it? bad that makes me feel. <laughs> um, we could go loot that corpse or... Oh, for sale. That's probably the Leowin house, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. It's kind of a garbage house. Wow. Yeah. Dodgy. All right. Oh, it's me, Dainava. You guys thought I was gone? <laughs> <laughs> I will never leave. Never. Oh, Jiva. Alright. Andreas. Sibylla. Oh, wait. I don't think we've done Sibylla. Uh, okay, Muck Valley Cavern. Oh, I remember her. Yes, my daughter lives in a cave. And no, I'm not very happy about it. Libby is... A oh, Sibby? Yeah, I think it's Sibby. Uh, Sibby has always loved animals, almost as much as Andy loves beer. And a couple of years ago, she apparently thought it was a good idea to abandon the Empire and live as a savage with the rest of the animals. In uh, that time, I'm afraid uh, Sibby has kind of cracked. She's basically as wild as the beast. She lives with... What can I... She's basically oh, as she, wild as the beast she lives with. She, what can I do? I'm Libby's mother, and I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll always love her. She obviously doesn't want or need anything from civilized society. So what I'd like you to do is find a tanner and secure the largest fur blankets you can possibly find. The last time I saw uh, Sibby, she was nearly naked, and I can't imagine there's much in the cave to keep her warm. When you bring uh, them to Muck Valley Cavern, be careful. The wild animals are bad enough, but Sibby herself will probably attack anyone on sight. There's something about this font that is really hard to read. Yeah. Okay. I don't think we read this one that we just... This Kyla. Oh. Kessa Leowen. You'll find her in the barracks. My beautiful Kai. My dearest daughter broke so many hearts when she was younger. But now that she's an officer in the Imperial Legion, I'm afraid she's let herself go a bit. Not oh. gotten fat, but... Uh, or by my fa... But by Mafala. I think that's a Daedra Lord? Yes. Not that, but she settled into a more practical kind of look. <laughs> even, a bit of, even a bit boyish, I guess you could say. So uh, what I'd like you to do is get my Kai as much pretty girl stuff as you can. Flowers, perfume, Nord chocolate, that sort of thing. Nord chocolate. Hmm. You've already received half of your fee in advance and will receive the remainder after the gifts have been purchased and delivered as we originally agreed. Thank you again for providing such a valuable service. So like Nord chocolate standing in for German chocolate? Yeah. Um, or Belgium chocolate. Hero Hill, bro. Um. Um. Um.
I, I was going to say Lucian Lachance. But uh, yeah, just another one of those um, idiosyncrasies with the world of the Elder Scrolls that chocolate exists in this this old world medieval society. Uh huh. You know. But I mean, like, it's sort of a somewhat global. You know, like this is Cyrodiil, so like it, and it has these all these influences of the countries around it. So, you know, some of the southern countries would maybe grow chocolate. But I mean, chocolate was a uh, North America or uh, the from the Americas. I know in, but in like, our world, but in our world, but you know, like there isn't like not all these countries are an exact equivalent with a European country, like the elsewhere or Valenwood, like aren't. I don't think they're like Spain. You know what I mean? Are I you think kidding? It, Spain is full of cat people. I guess that's true. What about Argonia? You know, I guess lizard people would maybe be like Italians. <laughs> you know, they rule the world, the, the lizard people. <laughs> yeah. Oh, settle down there. Shadow Mirror. Shadow Mirror. Oh, and um, I was actually listening to one of our last episodes, and I kept saying uh, Cura, uh, uh, instead of Curus, like the armor. Yeah. I kept saying Carass. Yeah, I like know. a cup. Yeah, I I noticed that. Yeah, it's um, it's all right. Apologies, everybody. They forgive us. I have faith that our listeners will forgive us. See, and if I like admit to this, like it's my biggest mistake, then I'm all like, practically sudden, flawless. Oh really? I was thinking it would, like admitting to this, like the veneer starts to- washing away, and all of a sudden. They realize we don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, what what will happen to us if people figure out that we don't know anything? I don't know. Well, we'll probably lose subscribers and have a really small YouTube channel again instead of our <laughs> massive YouTube channel. Vermina. I don't remember this one. I'm trying to remember. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, oh no, there's a wolf. There's a wolf. Oh okay. Huh. I don't wow. know. I don't that just made me sad. I'm trying to. Yeah. What What the hell is Vermina's deal? You want to see? I've played three goddamn Elder Scrolls games. Why can I not remember all of these Daedra lords? Who are you? Whoa. Who dares to walk Easy the there, buddy. What business do you have with the Lord Vermina? It's a heavy Botox. Here we worship Vermina, praying for her to grant us true visions. What is? Oh, is she the one, the, like the nature one? Like you're, she sends you out to protect nature. Oh, maybe. Um. Well, th- to those. To speak with Vermina, you black must call soldier. Her a black oh soldier. no, then that is not the case. Anvil is all. Okay, Which one bro. am I thinking of? I'll I don't know. Oh, I don't remember that one. Uh, yeah, the black soul gems are uh, nasty business because um, they're for trapping human souls. Yeah. Uh, you know, kind of... Necromancer kind of stuff. Yeah. And they're really good for, like, enchanting stuff, though, right? Yeah. But they're illegal, I think, in this world. Yes. Oh, is this it? Yeah. Okay. Do we want to save it? Just in case. Just in case. Just in case. That's my fictional hard-boiled detective. Mm Mm-hmm. Just in case. Here to solve your case. Get off my case. Whoa. Can we... Hello? Oh, okay. This is how I remember it. I don't remember there being any options. Wow. Jeez. There's a lot of animals in here. Yeah, I don't know. They didn't hurt anybody. Deeper into the cave. <laughs> What's the matter, getting tired? Oh, uh oh. Whoa. I get it. It's cozy in here. 
I bet it smells like an unfinished basement in there. Yeah. Sort of a weird cave, you know. Oh, you're sure. Oh. She's drinking wine. Living the good life, man. Yeah, hanging out with with dogs. Getting crunk. <laughs> Swinging a mace. Jeez. Or is that a, a morning star? Uh, it's a morning star. If I've ever seen one. Oh, oh what? no! We're gonna die. We're dead. Did we die? Did we die? Did we die? Did we die? Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go get some poison apples and we're gonna roll them into the cave. Yeah. And then all of the dogs will eat the apples. Can we lure her out of the cave? That's what I was just thinking. Maybe over to the uh, shrine of Vermina. Oh, that's a good idea. That didn't seem like it was that far away. Uh, this Umbra, as we say. Yes. What about Shadow Merit? Oh, she forgot how to use doors. That's why she lives in a cave. Yeah. We have the sound turned down so low, I'm not sure if we're still in battle. Umber is like a gross looking weapon, isn't it? Oh yeah. Like yeah, it's something I noticed it um very roughly hewn. I'm trying to remember what it looks like in Skyrim. It isn't in Skyrim. It isn't? Nope. It is absolutely not. Oh yeah, that's right. So it's just Morrowind and um uh this. Yeah. It looks very similar to how it looked in Morrowind. Morrowind, though, is a claymore. Two-handed. Right. But, I mean, in terms of, like, that kind of rough-hewn... I mean, everything in Morrowind looks rough-hewn. Yeah. So, I mean, it's... Okay. Okay, we might have to retreat back through the door. Every member of the Draconis family has been killed. I must pick up my reward in the next contract at the Dead Drop located in the Stone Well in the Castle Skingrad Courtyard. Hmm. How much is that Morning Star worth? Oh, it's a mace, it says. Oh. Yeah, right. It's not worth right. it. ain't worth nothing. Right the first time. Maybe a Morning Star has a chain. Oh, maybe. Maybe that is maybe that is the difference. Rob. Excuse me. Skingrad. Travel to Castle Skingrad. A journeyman of heavy armor will have a degrade fifty percent slower. I like Skingrad. Yeah. It's very cool. It's a cool place. Those born under the sign of the warrior have increased strength and endurance. <laughs> you have to read it like some like t terrible goddamn 90s kids. You know, it's like, oh, this has battle action damage <laughs> and kung fu grip. Ooh, 500 gold. Sweet. Dead drop. I picked up and received my next contract. I picked up and received my next contract from the dead drop in the castle Skingrad Well. I have been ordered to kill the Khajiit, Jagusta, <laughs> who can be found at his home in Bruma. Jagusta is a master of unarmed combat and will prove a challenging opponent. I should also be aware that Jagusta is expecting trouble and has paid off the guards to look the other way in our fight spills out into the city streets. So I love how you're saying that, like Megusta. <laughs> I know. That, Jay Gusta is my rapper name. Nice. Jay Gusta! Uh, yeah, it works, Joe. Yeah? Jay. Oobladi. Can we get up? Can we break the 
break, break the, the castle, game. break the wall, <laughs> hold the wall. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's make everybody on YouTube dizzy. Um, oh, dude. Shows what I know. I just assumed it was an invisible wall. Okay. You assumed wrong. You know, when I assume, I make an ass out of you and me. Mm -hmm. Okay, did we save it? <laughs> let's save it here and then jump off the edge. Yeah, since we finished up a little early. We'll show people a glimpse. Okay, uh, so I don't remember specifically about this Khajiit fight. Khajiit, yeah. Um, I do like the, you know, the that they paid off the guards. That I don't, this is like unusual, there's nothing out here. Huh. Do it. Jump. Oh, maybe it will be an invisible wall. Jump, do it. <laughs> Whoa! Oh! Um. <clears throat> Whoa! That's weird. So this normally, like, they have a when you break the a wall, it brings you out to like a uh, you know blank map, basically of the landscape, and you can then like go over to Skyrim or um, maybe or because this castle is a, a unique location. It's not one of those towns. Yeah. That. I mean, in those towns, they sort of expect you from some vantage points in the city to see outside the castle walls. Mm -hmm. So they create the blank map yeah. for a stand-in. But this, I don't think you could really get to any position yeah. where you could see outside. Well, anyway. Okay, yeah, so... Um, Next time, we will kill Jay Gusta and... Uh, and, and their rap career. And uh, keep following the Dark Brotherhood quest line. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next Tuesday. Bye.